I want to make sure you realize asking God to show you a weakness in your own church or ministry is not ever to say, oh, I feel condemned. It is to be humble to ask God. It is a humble thing to seek God and He show you something that is off, something that should not be. That stripping away is, Father, I want to see you. I want the full counsel of God. I want your word declared, not my opinions, not my political correctness, not what I think the scriptures should say, but what they do say. Behold, I will do a new thing. Shall you not know it? He said, listen, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I want to do. But you need to know it because I don't work apart from you. We work in this. We are fellow laborers in this vineyard together with him. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. When does God want to do something? That word spring forth actually means to bud, to come forth. In other words, the seeds have been sowed, things have been planted, it's been hidden, it's already been working, the, the roots have been going down, they've been going out, and you think nothing's happening, God's going, no, it's been working all the time behind the scenes, but now it's ready to come forth and break forth. Now it's going to come into the realm of the seed. It's been working in the unseen, but I'm getting ready to bring it into the seed. Shall you not know it? You need to know what I'm doing. The purpose and the plans. Why God put you where He put you. He has a plan for that. Don't draw back. Don't, don't, don't look for the easy way. You are where you are right now because you stretched it. You made some decisions. You stepped out. Come on, keep stepping out. Keep obeying God. Keep being bold with your faith. Keep trusting the Holy Ghost. Get out of the boat.